Well, let's go live now to Charlotte Law. She's an author and a Trump supporter, and she joins us from Los Angeles. Thanks for making the time to speak to us. Uh, what did you think of the day? What were your highlights? Well, it was a very exciting day. I thought that Trump's speech was very raw and honest. It was populist in nature. And I think he reinforced a lot of the themes that he had during his campaign. And he brought people together. I think there was a lot of unity talk, which he used through the idea of patriotism and the idea of everybody bleeds the red blood and about inner cities. And um, so I felt that it was, there was a lot of that and it, about giving the government back to the people. And that was a very big part of, the, of his speech. So I think it's been a really encouraging, wonderful day. And he did say at one of the balls tonight that even his detractors said that he had a very successful day. Now I understand you actually had tickets to the inauguration and you gave them away. I did. I gave them to my mom and her husband. And they are lifelong Democrats but very big Trump supporters. There are a lot of Democrats here in the States who have been supporting Trump, and they had good seats, they said, for the inauguration, and now they're at one of the balls, and they're having a wonderful time. They're sending me little photos from the ball. <laughs> so it's a very exciting day for them in Washington. So if the Donald Trump's managed to reach out to uh, Democrats like your mother and her husband, there does seem to be still this... Uh, division in the country. You said that Donald Trump sort of reached out to people and this was a, a big part of his speech, but we're still seeing a number of protests across the U.S. and internationally. He's got quite a job on his hands, doesn't he? He does, but he has a history of being a unifier. I think it's been difficult because of the fact that it's been such a, a, a contentious campaign and there really has been the case of the media in the United States. It was very much trying to derail his campaign. And everybody in this country knows that. And that kind of set a tone that was divisive. He has a history of bringing Democrats and Republicans together. And he's really our first independent president. Even though he ran under the banner of Republican, he's very much an independent. He's not a traditional Republican or conservative in any sense. But I mean, we had a guest on in the last hour who was saying that she doesn't feel safe. And these weren't things that were made up by the media. These were things that uh, came out of Donald Trump's uh, mouth. She was saying, as a Muslim, she doesn't feel safe. There are Mexicans that I heard, uh, Latinos, black people who say, we don't feel safe. How does Donald Trump... Uh, make them feel like they are valued? Well, I, I, as I said, I really believe that a lot of his words were taken out of context. And he has what I call a cowboy mouth. So he says things, it just kind of blurts it out. And, you know, a lot of times the media takes that out of context. So, you know, he really is not a racist. He's not a sexist. He is somebody who really cares about all people. He does want tough border security. That doesn't make you a racist to say that you want to keep your country safe, that you want the taxpayers to not have to be paying money out to those who come here illegally from other nations. You know, he wants to be an America first president. And I think that's a very positive thing. And most people in this country believe that's a very positive thing. And I'm not sure that that's even an issue for people around the world. It is true he may renegotiate some trade deals. He may want to make it so that America is not putting the bill for every country all over the world. But I think that people should be very encouraged because he isn't going to be trying to impose American values and lifestyles in other nations. He's not going to be nation building. He's, he's very much a pacifist. He's not going to be getting us into war. And so there are a lot of very positive things there. And I think he has the potential for being a really excellent president. And just very briefly, Donald Trump has said that the work begins now. He's actually started work already. What would you like him to do first? Well, I, I, I like the fact that he's already started working on bringing jobs back to this country, and he's had meetings even during the interim, you know, while he was the president-elect, he's had meetings with the heads of various corporations about keeping jobs in the United States. He's had some success with that. I think that's excellent. I think that the jobs is, is basically one of his biggest strengths, the idea that he's going to um, be able to bring money back to this country, that he's going to make it a wealthier country. He's going to uh, work on infrastructure, which is something that the Democrats very much support, and roads and that kind of thing, helping to build the inner cities. I would say that if he concentrates on things that 
that everybody can sign on to at first. I think that's a very smart thing to do because the first hundred days of a presidency are crucial for determining the success of the remainder of the four years. Okay, Dr. Charlotte Laws, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. We'll leave it there. Thanks.